Okay. Talk. Hello, who are you? Welcome to my food shop. I'm Bram, a Quido chef, very well known throughout this galaxy. Oh, this would have been a great space food truck crossover. I travel from one planet to another, always looking for the best ingredients. Hmm, would you like to be my kitchen helper? Uh, of course I would. You're going to learn a lot. Bring me the ingredients I need now. I'll teach you. Uh, okay. Oh, that little lake is wonderful. Fish is the main ingredient of many of my dishes. I can always supply you with the good catches. That's the attitude. Look, you can make a fishing rod like this one. Okay, so get one blue bass for Brom. Cool. Well, let's see if I can quickly catch something. That's a small lake to make any one of these. Okay, fishing rod. I need metal, I need thread. That's... Yeah, that's not happening this time around. Attack! Ah, actually, I should probably see what he... What he sells. Uh, okay, what can I sell to him? He'll buy mushrooms for extra, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, larva? I'm gonna hold on to my bread, though. Oh, he'll buy my blueberries for a lot extra. I'll sell the toadstool. So save the mushrooms for the, this guy. I'm sure eventually I'm going to be able to uh, make more of a pretty penny from these things. Okay, so what does he sell? Larva, carrot, acorn. I have some wheat left over. I'm gonna buy an. I'm gonna buy two acorn seeds, because I don't have those yet. Oh, and I'm starving. I should fix that. Okay, carrot. Wonder you should take a look at Portal Knights. It might be something you're interested in. It is. It's also one of those where I'd love to play it with friends. I don't want to play Portal Knights alone. I mean, I'm not against playing it alone, but uh. It'd just be a it'd just be a shame to to play that game. Oh, I'm exhausted. All right, let's sleep. See, isn't this a mobile game? It might be. I don't know. I mean, it definitely kind of looks mobily, but mobile game or not, I'm having fun. Okay, so oak should give us maybe a different type of lumber. Should be kind of nice. Okay, good. Now, I might want to I might want to cut some of these berries. They're difficult to Well, maybe if I just get rid of the rocks, we'll be okay. Cuz the rocks are in kind of wildly inconvenient locations. Apparently it has been a mobile game. I downloaded it and it hasn't opened yet. Uh, maybe it's just not out yet, or I don't know. Okay, so let's uh let's plant some more pine trees because we we have kind of lost many many of our our trees along the way. I'm not going to cluster them like I I did before, at least not to the extent that I did. But they are going to be focused around here. Hopefully, eventually I can get the the water to spread. Uh, better. We'll see how it goes. Uh, no, I have some over here. I mean, pretty much I'm just gonna ring the entire... ...area in trees. The one thing I, I kind of wish is, uh... Oh. There we go, meteorites. Uh, the one thing is I kind of wish items that fell on the ground would actually just automatically um, kind of magnetize into the planet player. Meteorites brought seeds from another part of the universe. Okay, so this is how we get more plants. Okay, so what does it take to upgrade a well? Oh. Oh. We need a bucket before we can do anything with that. And we can get our, uh... Okay. 
we can get our cotton. I think we're s not quite yet. Uh, let's see. So what system is this for? Possibly mobile, uh, but mostly uh, PS4 and PC that I know of. Okay, so let's plant one more cotton. Because I'm probably going to need a lot of cotton. We can do watermelons. We can do sunflowers. And is this done? No, that'll be done in a minute. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Forge. Bucket. Bucket. I'm just going to grab a bucket. I mean, it's just some wood. Workshop. Thread. Oh. Okay, so we're going to need some more farms. Okay, so these are locked, and we need one more metal. Huh. It's going to take some time. I guess we'll just kind of break these for a bit. But yeah, it very well could be a, a mobile game. And you know what? Whatever. It... I would complain if it played poorly. Uh, but it plays well. So, I don't know. Hopefully we get metal from somewhere else. Oh, we're starving again. Uh, let's see. I do have carrots coming. I should probably go back to eating uh, berries, though. Eventually we'll have, like, a proper kitchen set up and it'll be easier. I wonder if you get metal out of these smaller rocks more often. Or maybe from Butt Rock. I wonder if I just have to beat Butt Rock again until we get, uh... Until we get the mine. Hard to say. Okay. Back to eating blueberries. Let's eat another blueberry. Okay, uh, let's see. Is it just no? We've got two critters hanging out in the area. Hello, it's hammer time, Slimesy. Splat, splat. All right, he's dead. And oh, right, too tired. Luckily, combat does not require an energy meter. I don't remember what game it was, but the oh, Stardew Valley to some degree. It's like hmm, you can't, you can't fight back. You're too tired. And it's like what? Why? Why? Okay, harvest. Yeah, so we're pretty much just going to have to alternate between carrots here. The sunflower, I don't know if I'm going to... What is this for? Oh. 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 Let's see. I've got the wizard back. So when we hear that, we've got, um... When we hear the, like, it means we've got a visitor. Okay, so we still don't have what he needs. What can I sell? I can sell the thread for a bunch. I'll sell the limicus at least for a little while longer. And the gold ore sells for a lot, but I might be able to use that. Sold directly or smelted to make gold bullion. Well, I mean, I can sell it now. What does he sell? He does sell some iron, which we could use. Yeah, let's, um... Let's... Let's sell the gold ore now. And buy some metal. Because we're gonna need... We're gonna need a lot of metal, and we don't have an easy source of it right now. What else can I buy from him? I can also buy some cotton. I'm going to see if I can speed run his quest a little bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to make any more. Okay, cool. So we can make the fishing rod. It does cost me a thread, but threads... Okay. And... I can probably make all three. Because we've got more cotton on the way. In a minute and a half, actually.
They don't think this is going to give me enough cotton. Be lovely if it did, though. Okay, so I leveled up. There's some crops to harvest. So seeds, we need more cotton. Yeah, so I need uh, I need one more. I might be able to uh, to water this consistently, but we'll have to wait. Probably. Okay. But yeah, it looks like watering your uh, watering your crops actually does make like a massive difference. But let's let's find those mushrooms. Luckily, there's kind of a marker where each and every one of them is. Okay, this is a PS PC and PS4 game, but there's a Dale and Tiny Planet, which is an Android game. Are they the same game or are they just similar? Because that's the main confusion for me. There's another mushroom somewhere. There it is. Yes. I really wish I could jump. It, I know it would be totally useless to be able to jump in this game, but it feels so odd playing games when, when you can't jump. Like, how cool would it be if this game actually had, like, just a little bit of extra verticality to it, so eventually you're making, um, like, tall structures to climb around on and stuff. That'd be neat. I would enjoy that. Okay, so the oak trees are getting real big. Uh, do any of these have seeds yet? No. I should probably grab some berries, too. Because I'm definitely... I'm definitely going to get in hunger mode. Let's, um... No, that'll... That'll have a seed in a bit. When... When that one has a seed, I'll move it away from the edge, just because it's going to be a nightmare. Okay, right. Fishing. Oh, you don't have any bait. I sold it like a dumbass. And I don't know where to get more yet. I didn't realize I, I didn't realize I needed bugs. Well. That gave me some metal. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go uh mining for rocks. I wonder if some of these rocks are breakable, like if they all have HP bars. Or if they're all just eternal. I guess I can honestly work with either. raining. There's also another mushroom somewhere. Mushroom, mushroom. Come here so I can sell you. It is... kind of directly to my left. Over here? There we go. Yeah, I know the mushrooms are used for culinary purposes, but they're also used for getting me more cash. Okay, so I'm pretty tired. Uh, let's rest. No, 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 no. Sow seeds. Let's get the watermelon going. Who knows? The watermelon might actually be better than the carrots. Anyway, let's let's sleep. We leveled up again too. Some more stamina or agility. Speed and his defense against physical attacks. Let's get speed. I don't know if that includes my my running speed or not. I'm assuming it does, just because that would make sense. But you never know. Okay, so none of these have produced seeds yet. What about you? Neither is this one. Alright, whatever, I'm just cutting it down. Oh, you do get some uh, wood from that. How many blueberries do I have? Oh, I'm hungry again. Uh... I am the carrot manga. I live off of the carrots. Okay. Yeah, let's cut this one down too. It's just a bit too close. Let's put put down some more raspberry bushes. Just a little bit further out, I think. That is not much better. Honestly.
Okay. Uh, so this guy, we need to bring back down. I gotta buy some insects from him. Because otherwise, I can't go fishing. Okay, so what can I buy from him? Larva. Oh, let's grab all five. I'll be able to sell the fish, I'm sure. Uh, let's see, what can I sell while he's here? Because he'll buy my foodstuffs. I don't think I want to sell more than that. What is that? Oh, seeds. Yeah, I'm curious about the oaks. Like, uh, if there's actually like a direct benefit to having an oak over a pine. But that's fine. Okay, so how does how does fishing work? Move the bait towards the mouth, mouth of the fish and press the correct button to catch it. Nope. Oh, it... Okay. Okay, there's a blue bait. Blue bass. I think we had to get two, though. I'm not entirely sure if I'm keen on fishing. Damn it. Because yeah, if you can see the uh, if you can see the icon the entire time, okay, he's over here. Yeah, we should be able to just finish this quest. Talk, top quality fish, so fresh. Bring me more. I'll pay you well for each one. You're too confident. Why do you say that? Your fields are really unprotected against a plague of vermin. Oh, plague or vermin attack. You're right. Monsters sometimes steal my crops. On my planet, cool. We protect our fields with wooden fences. That's how we keep our crops safe. What a good idea. Look, I'll teach you how to build fences. I'll get down to work and build five fences. I think I forgot how his, uh, how his voice went in my head. But that that's fine. Whatever. We'll be okay. All right, let's uh, let's cut down the oak tree. This one, at the very least. We've got a bunch of oak seeds. Do they give any extra wood or no? Who knows? Nope, looks like same amount of wood. It's just a matter of personal preference. Uh, let's see, sow seeds, put down more cotton. Okay, so we got some sunflower seeds, some oil. We gotta get the carrot seeds going though, I'm gonna start starving. If I don't, I got I got some leftover carrots, but still. Okay, uh let's see. Only gotta make one more. That's good. Okay, so that's done. Kitchen, we still need a ton of wood. Well, question is, how many pine seeds do I have? I got a ton. If I wanted to, to, I could go on a chopping spree. Let's go on a bit of a chopping spree. I might just end up having like a, a goofy amount of spare seeds by the time I'm done, but that's okay. And I can just kind of wait on some of these. As soon as they get their seeds, I'll chop them down, I think. Alright, I gotta move to, to reset the... Uh, I gotta move to reset the the command action. I don't know, whatever. Okay, three minutes. Honestly, I can probably cut these down, no big deal. I guess I get slightly less lumber this way. So I probably shouldn't be terribly hasty. Maybe? I'm not actually sure how much how much less I, I get if I... I just cut it down this fast. Okay, well, seeing as we're sitting on quite a number of pine seeds. I'm just gonna go kind of nuts with them over here. Because we get like two pine seeds per. So I can just put like a, a silly amount done. Or done down. And as long as I get seeds from like 
half of them? We'll break even on, on tree time. You know the other game this reminds me of, though to a lesser degree, would actually be the, uh... What was it? The Cloud Catcher Chronicles game. We should probably talk to her before she goes away now that I'm thinking about it. Hey. Hello, Arco. How's everything? Oh, I can see you're getting on well. Interstellar Patrol is very interested in your little planet. The supercomputer, WiseX, has started processing the data, but it needs more information. That's why I've brought a sensor to, uh, sensor to gather data about the lawn. Humidity, precipitation, wind. The sensor is battery powered, but you have to make sure it does not turn off while it's taking its readings. Keep it on until my next visit so we can get some valid data. Okay. You'll hear a warning when the battery's running low. Then you'll have to start turning the crank, quickly. Start data collection. Okay, sensor is kept on so you have a val you have valid readings of the state of the planet great oh good there's a there's a meter in the corner that lets me know so I can do other things and let's say when it gets down to like 20% I gotta race race back How many pine trees can I jam into one location? The answer is tons. This is going to look real garbage. But... That's fine. Honestly, I can just kind of turn the crank whenever. Okay, how's our stuff doing? Watermelon's still got a long ways to go. Carrots, less so. Let me see. So where's the where's the other mushrooms? Because we got two more around here. Somewhere. Up ahead on the right, and the other place. It's interesting how much of a... Uh, a varied experience it is living on a on a small spherical planet. It actually works really well. Yeah, reminding you of my time at Porsche. I really... That's 100% uh, a valid comparison. It'd be nice if I could make sprinklers, maybe. Okay, so what I should probably also do... Oh, there's no snapping on this. That's That's a weird feeling. I really wish you could hold a button and strafe or something. Can you? You can't. That's... Oh. Huh. This might actually be the weakest part of the game. That's kind of awkward. Oh well. Oh, uh, can I crank this? Good. Okay, that doesn't cost any energy. Uh, let's see, can't forge anything, can't make anything, let's just sleep. Let's see, so is there a story for this game? I, I heard when Avak was playing this earlier, he mentioned something about an actual villain, so I'm assuming we will actually have some kind of antagonistic force. I mean, there's combat in the game, so presumably... It's something that we'll kind of have to worry about, maybe? No, stop walking. I don't know if the monsters will go through the rocks. Okay, watermelons. Oh, you can even you can even tell when it's harvesting time because the icon changes color. I didn't even think about that. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, yeah, let's let's keep getting carrots down because starvation is a real concern. 
Man, this is a chill game. In a good way. Uh, let's keep going with cotton. Eventually, I'm probably going to want to switch over to wheat. But I got to get the kitchen done. And, oh. All of these fences are costing me an arm and a leg. Okay. Where is it? It's over here. I'm just gonna hoe it a bunch, I guess. But the best I can do. A lot of, lot of that. Uh, can I go through the fences? No, I can't. So I'll have to make like a gate. Eh. Guess let's grab a little bit of water and water the watermelon. It'd be nice if there was a sprinkler system. Also, what do you guys think? Should I, should I go uh, in search of some music that isn't this game's? I wonder. Maybe maybe I'll make the trees around here, uh, where I get the seeds from, and use the other section as a tree farm. I'll think about that. Uh, what can I what can I do right now? Oh, heat from the fire will restore your health more quickly. And we also have a large well. Store more rainwater. Oh. And if I want to put trees elsewhere, I'll have to do that, too. Dragon Quest Builder's music. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see. How do we... I think I might have to exit the game. It said the game's... will autosave, so let, let's try and do that, at the very least. Because, yeah, the... the... almost lack of music. Is... Ugh... A problem okay because yeah it's this is a very nice and relaxing game but the music only like comes in and out occasionally and it's very very quiet and so yeah let's let's see if we can get the uh Another whoops Another sorry thing. no stop that i was listening to um or i was listening to i was watching an sgdq run okay dragon quest builders ost is not on YouTube. Huh. Okay. Let's not do that then. What other games have really relaxing soundtracks that we could we could roll with right now? I mean, we could listen to Pode for a while if we want to go super sleepy. Let's do Pode. I'm in an Austin wintry mood. So this might be extremely quiet and sleepy and whatever. Everybody's saying the Doom soundtrack. I honestly cannot. Like, even if I wanted to, I can't talk over Doom. It just doesn't work. Also, sadly, it doesn't look like we're going to do a uh, multiplayer tonight. It's Bird and Lady Bird's ninth anniversary, which is great. I mean, kind of super disappointing for me, but that's just because I was really hoping for multiplayer. Whenever I have a bad day, it's like, yeah, I would love a multiplayer night. But I guess we'll just kind of chill out with this game tonight. Then we'll chill out with Shell in a little while. Yeah, let's just use this as our tree farm. It's a giant nightmare, and the idea of trying to get seeds out of this would be awful. Pode actually might be too appropriate for this game. We'll see. But yeah, so I'm just going to use this horrid, horrid clusters of, uh, of trees. Uh, oh, I'm trapped. No. Oh, I got a seed. Sweet. Hi. Uh-oh. Uh, Uh-oh. Okay. We'll make it free. Don't worry. Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha! You will not trap me. You may attempt it. You may attempt to trap me. But you will not succeed. Turn up the uh, soundtrack a little bit here. Okay, ow. Food, hunger, hunger hurts, hunger burns. Hopefully the water balance will be done, done soon. Interestingly enough, sleep just drains your meters. It does not actually make time pass, which is interesting. 
Nope, that's that's the wrong one. This is the right one. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, hey, it's, it's the it's the Whizman. I should probably also go uh, roll this thing because I believe we should have. Oops, Doc. I have your fabric here. Ah, oh, excellent. It's made of the finest cotton. I'll pay you well for more like this. I'm short of some ingredients for my potions. Distilled lime alcohol serves to enhance the magical essence, making its effects more long-lasting. But it's not easy to get. Limos are not just found anywhere. Are you referring to those sticky green monsters? Yes, that's right. Have you seen any around here? I was attacked by them recently. In that case, I'm in the right place. Or, I'm in the right place. Bring me some Limicus, and I'll give you the recipe to make the alcohol. Hmm? I found the Limicus. It's sticky. Yuck. Just the right amount we need. Look, I'll show you how to distill it. We can make booze. Hmm? For the moment, I haven't got any more chores for you. Come and talk to me on your next visit. Okay, so what do we have that I could sell? Some cotton... Larva, don't want to do that. He did give me some, um, alcohol. Yeah, let's sell that. And the poisonous toadstools. 